he charges like five lakh rupees for a three-hour session. He comes here free, and we give him just free food and all three canteen food, and he's happy. So this is called Project Saraswati. So the, we are able to give some travel and local hospitality to the alumni, and they donate one day of their life. They typically come on a Saturday, Saturday morning or Friday night, and spend the whole day with the students. And uh, so you're all welcome to send me your passion, and we will accordingly contact. The next one, as I said, uh, Pramod Joshi is coming on January 10th, tomorrow or 12th. He's here. So he is giving this Vivekanand thing, Project Saraswati, where he will teach again how to uh, you know, yeah, present yourself in an interview, things like this, you know, how to present So I now hand over to Omkar uh, Dikshan. Excuse me, sir. Uh, Omkar Dikshan. As a Dean of uh, Infrastructure Plan, I am supported by two Associate Deans also. One is uh, Associate Dean Physical Infrastructure, and another is Associate Dean Digital Infrastructure. So both physical as well as, as, well as digital infrastructure are with uh, Dean Infrastructure and Planning. So, so whatever um, is decided at a certain level, for which we have what we call the user committee, because in terms of uh, hostel, in terms of office space, in terms of creation of uh, research space, or some other um, extension activities. So that user committee passes on that information to this so-called uh, Dean Infrastructure Planning Office. And based on their requirement, with the help of architects and some other qualified people, we try to convert that into corresponding infrastructure. So right now, a very ambitious project, which is just going to be signed in the next probably one week or 10 days, is the massive automation of all our utilities, services, everything within campus. So for example, all of our offices, we are thinking at some stage become paperless. That's the wish list. And uh, all our information related to institute and everything, we are trying to convert that into a digital form, all our maps, all our corresponding structural information, everything we are trying to have in digital form. So this is in addition to our regular computer center supported activities uh, which are related to digital infrastructure. So presently he had computer center, he is also our associate in digital infrastructure. Now in terms of uh, fiscal infrastructure, uh, we have in research a uh, large number of projects which will be costing around 1,000 crore rupees, but they will be spanning over the next two to three years, depending upon the availability of the funds. Uh, as uh, Laura mentioned, uh, one project for which the work has already started in terms of, the very first thing is we are going to dismantle some old structures. You would have noticed that uh, uh, the girls hostel, earlier used to be just about 132 girls. When I joined this place in, 93, only 132 girls hosting. Now, uh, the girls' population has gone up like anything. And new girls' hostel tower has come, new girls' hostel has come, and one more girls' hostel for which we have dismantled that 132 uh, no, capacity girls' hostel. So, probably first three months were required to dismantle. Some GPR survey will be done so that we understand what are the utilities. And then, probably in the next one and a half months, the actual construction will start. So, so, in addition to this, the institute is planning that we need to have a lot of international students as well as faculty. So, plan is to accommodate for next five years about 200 uh, uh, students and faculty members for which the international housing system is also really coming up uh, for international students as well as faculty members. Some, uh, uh, an accommodation for which we are dismantling some of our older staff quarters, which are no longer in use. So, the idea is that in the campus now, environmental uh, uh, committee or environmental cell, and there is what, what we call it a space planning cell. So, they also help uh, this particular office. So, the institute is very, very particular about maintaining the greenery, uh, the pristine environment. So, out of about 1,000 acres, we are thinking to hold a reasonably big chunk of land which will remain pristine. 
and for which we get all guidance from the so-called green cell. So very good wildlife is also available in the campus. We are trying to cater to them also. So three more projects which are coming up in the campus, major projects, which is a core lab. In fact, with the bed size increasing for almost 850, this core lab, we had a core lab, a new core lab. Another core lab is really going to come up, and for which the work we are planning to start somewhere in March. So now the scale of activities has gone up to a scale where institute works department probably will have a lot of difficulty. So therefore, what we are doing, we are also involved, involving agencies like uh, uh, government agencies as, as PMCs, for example, NBCC. They are going to partner us in really developing these kind of facilities. Maybe at some stage we can think of some other agency like CPWD or some other agency because government also understands that the, the scale of infrastructure which is supposed to develop at different IITs, IMs, so they have become little liberal. So we are going to take help from them. And of course, uh, the Norda Center, which is really coming up, uh, it is supposed to take care of uh, some of our extension activities like doing short term courses, supporting some activities related to um, incubation. And of course, uh, some support for office staff, uh, some block for uh, our guest house and all that. So probably five blocks have been planned for that place, out of which one would be ready by this July, which is probably a residential block. So we are in the process of furnishing that. It is going to be available in uh, institutional area, sector 62. And for office block, as well as for incubation center, the Tenders have been invited, and probably the construction for that will also start. In fact, for some time, uh, there was some delay because uh, now as per government guidelines for all our projects, we are supposed to have environmental clearance. And everything was held up for some time. But about two months back, for all these projects, now probably the IT Kanpur is the only IT which has clearance for all the projects. So now we will not have any, any hurdle. So, we hope that all these uh, projects with the flow of fund will try to execute as the as possible. So that's the plan for next uh, So I think now uh, my colleague uh, Professor Harish will make a brief statement and then we will take questions. Good morning. Uh, thanks to Professor Mushi for taking away all my uh, student related activities. But one thing you forgot to mention, so I'm going to say that I'm going to really make a brief statement. Uh, apart from curricular academic activities that students do and uh, co-curricular activities related to science, technology and all those things that he has been mentioning, our students are also doing very well in sports. Uh, for the first time, we got general championship inter IIT twice consecutively. First time last year when we got... Uh, People thought it was a fluke, but we repeated it. So saying that, now people are saying it is a double fluke. <laughs> 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 uh, so we are, uh, we are also trying to grow in terms of hostel accommodation. Uh, I don't know if you got a chance, if you got a chance to see the campus. Uh, we have gone up to hall 11 now. Basically we have 12 hostels. We used to be five plus one uh, during my days. I don't know what that means to be. Five plus five. five, five. five. Yeah. Uh, now it's gone to 11 and plus one girls hostel. And the building hall 12. We are looking at going further. So hall 12, which is 12A and 12B. So total 1200. It's a big hostel. 600 plus 600. And other, other major change that we would notice is uh, we had only one six story building in our campus. Whenever they say, okay, go to the six-story building, that's it. The faculty building was the only one. Now, we are, hostels are also growing vertically. So we have interesting uh, landscape emerging here. Uh, sports facility is something which we boast that ours is one of the best one. It's very good. But when the student strength increases, whatever facility we have probably caters to those who are very serious so-called professionals within their hobby. But there are, maybe that number is something like 200 or 250 of the 6,500 students we have. But others also need some facility. We are trying to see how to build non, not so professional environment, but others can just walk in and play and then walk off. 
For example, if you go to one of the new sports complex, if somebody has to play badminton, and the preparation time is something like 20 minutes. Change the shoes, do that, do this, and then you are allowed to enter. Whereas you would like to have a facility which where I feel like playing badminton today, yeah, I should be able to go and play. It's that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, thanks, that's pretty much what I want to say. I think we had, I just extend what Harish has said, the institute club is also planned. Can you say something where this badminton facility will be there for him only? In fact, there is an institute club also, I think, basically. It has gone through various rounds of discussion and consultation. Finally, the club is ready. We are, the plan for the club is ready. We are going to construct it uh, in a, uh, somewhere near our uh, patrol pump. Uh, if you, if you are coming from the main gate, the right side is patrol pump. Opposite to that, there is a big lawn to be used for uh, uh, marriage functions and variety of other functions. A part of that, about one third of that, is going to be used for construction of this uh, particular club. A lot of facilities, I think. We also did uh, some uh, survey with the campus community that should we have some uh, small kiddie swimming pool for that. And there was an overwhelming support for that, that we must have that kind of thing also. So probably that is also going to change. Now uh, we can take questions. If you want to know any specific thing about the institute, at least three of us are here. of 10 crores some 10 years ago. So with that interest, we are running this SIDBI Innovation and Incubation Center. And my colleague, B.V. Pani, is a professor of industrial engineering. He is also an associate dean for industrial consultancy. And she is the head of that. And we have incubated something like 120 companies, like 60. Recent reports said uh, some 60 have been, have been incubated. 35 or so have graduated and 27 or so are still there. We have a, a lot of patents which have not been sold, so we are looking for uh, help from alumni in that area. And we have actually one of one alumni who lives in California, he keeps coming for his Saraswati. We give him a little bit of khana pina and the guest house. And he's retired and he's helping us. Uh, in. He meets individual faculty members, look at their research record. And if they have something patentable, he encourages to patent, or if the patent is there, he is trying to market it. So recently, he, he is trying to sell something which one of my colleagues has developed for motors or engine IC engines. <coughs> but uh, but uh, a pilot plant, uh, I don't know. Do you know that? Uh, there are some 20 or technologies have been transferred to industry very recently. Uh, so that kind of uh, uh, active research activity or industrial related research activity is happening. Pilot plant, plant I think if I can think of it, now we are looking at uh, solar power generation. That is it's getting scaled up now. Uh, I think we started with some 50 450 kilowatts. 50 then we are going touching about 400 now, 600 kilowatt now. It's going to touch into higher now. Once we start putting on all the rooftop, maybe that will probably scale up. Uh -huh. Is there a list somewhere which we can access? Yes, 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 it is there. Uh, on the website also it is there, I think. SIIC, SIGB. 
there is a website if you google at itksb you will be directed to that website but if you need any more one email from you will be sufficient yeah i you have to say i i see our website right now is getting transformed it's still under transformations so i click the old website but then locate it to where i have to go uh, i'm not very comfortable even with the new website even after few four months but the best way is if the itk should be in something google it's it's much faster than navigating through the website right now yes 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 Yes, yes. In fact, uh, as I said, alumni are preferred, but it's not a condition. You get a very cheap space. So if you have a if you have a startup, you get a some some room, a small room, and internet connection, and you know, and uh, this the rent is very very minimal. Yeah, yeah, in campus. And after three years, you know, you are you are you are called. I mean, it's physically being thrown out, or we call them graduate. <laughs> in fact, uh, almost similar model we are going to we we are going to have at Noida Center also. Can you think of Bangalore and Mumbai? Such activities more coordinated with the industry. Yes, so there is a Bangalore chapter. In fact, I have been there three times. Now the director is going again, and the dean of faculty, Manindra, is going again. We are thinking.